the Umrah, which has specific dates according to the Islamic lunar calendar. In accordance to the Sharia, for both pilgrimages, a Muslim must first assume Iram, a state of purification achieved by completing cleansing rituals, wearing the prescribed attire, and abstaining from certain actions. This must be attained when reaching a miket, a principal boundary point in Makkah, like Dhu el Hulaifa, Jufair, Karnu el Manazal, Yalam Lang, Zatai IRQ, Ibrahim Mursina, or a place in Al Hill. Different conditions exist for air travelers, who must observe Iram once entering a specific perimeter in the city. Umrah requires Muslims to perform two key rituals, Tawaf and Sa'i. Tawaf is a circling round the Kaaba. For men, it is recommended to do the first three circuits in a hurried pace, followed by four rounds of a more leisurely pace. This is followed by Sa'i between Safar and Marwa in the Great Mosque of Makkah. A walk to commemorate Hagar's search for water for her son and God's mercy in answering prayers. Pilgrims conclude the pilgrimage with halk, a partial or complete shortening of the hair. Umrah is sometimes considered the lesser pilgrimage, in that it is not compulsory, but is still highly recommended. It is generally able to be completed in a few hours. In comparison to Hajj, which may take a few days. It is also not meant to be interpreted as a substitute for Hajj. However, both are demonstrations of the solidarity of the Muslim people and their submission to Allah. A certain type of the Umrah exists depending on whether or not the pilgrim wishes to perform Umrah in the Hajj period, thus combining their merit when performed alongside the Hajj. Umrah is deemed one of enjoyment. The pilgrim performs a series of ritual acts symbolic of the lives of Ibrahim and his second wife, Hajar, and of solidarity with Muslims worldwide. Pilgrims enter the perimeter of Makkah in a state of Iram and perform. These rituals complete the Umrah, and the pilgrim can choose to go out of Iram. Although not a part of the ritual, most pilgrims drink water from the well of Zamzam. Various sects of Islam perform these rituals with slightly different methods. The peak times of pilgrimage are the days before, during and after the Hajj and during the last 10 days of Ramadan. According to the Muslim traditional accounts, access to the holy site, and thus the right to practice the Hajj and Umrah pilgrimages have not always been granted to Muslims. It is reported in the Muslim traditional accounts that throughout Muhammad's era, the Muslims wanted to establish the right to perform Umrah and Hajj to Makkah since the latter had been prescribed by the Quran. During that time, Makkah was occupied by Arab pagans who used to worship idols inside Makkah. In the early years of the Islamic Ummah, it is claimed that tensions arose in Makkah between its pagan inhabitants and the Muslims who wished to perform pilgrimages within. According to the traditional Muslim stories, in 628 CE, inspired by a dream that Muhammad had while in Medina, in which he was performing the ceremonies of Umrah. He and his followers approached Makkah from Medina. They were stopped at Hudaybiyah. Quraysh refused entry to the Muslims who wished to perform the pilgrimage. Muhammad is said to have explained that they only wished to perform a pilgrimage and subsequently leave the city. However, the Quraishites disagreed. Diplomatic negotiations were pursued once the Islamic prophet Muhammad refused to use force to enter Makkah. Out of respect to the Holy Kaaba, in March, 628 CE, the Treaty of Hudaybiyah was drawn up and signed, with terms stipulating a 10-year period free of hostilities, during which the Muslims would be allowed a three-day long access per year to the holy site of the Kaaba starting the following year. On the year it was signed, the followers of Muhammad were forced to return home without having performed Umrah. The next year had persecuted and driven away the early Muslims and had fought against the Muslims due to their beliefs, were afraid of retribution. However, Muhammad forgave all of his former enemies. Ten people were forgiven, and not to be killed after the capture of Makkah. Ikrimar ibn Abi Jal, Abdullah ibn Saad ibn Abisa, Habbar bin Aswad, Mikya Subaba Lethi, Huvarat bin Nukayad, Abdullah Hillel and four women who had been guilty of murder or other offenses or had sparked off. The war and disrupted the peace. On the 26th of February 2020, 
Saudi Arabia suspended travel to the country for reasons related to the Umrah due to concerns over the rapid spread of coronavirus. After the reporting of the first case of coronavirus in Saudi Arabia on the 4th of March 2020, the Riyadh government banned Umrah pilgrimage to the holy cities of Medina and Makkah for Saudi citizens and residents living in the kingdom.